I give you two options. You can either chug down this hydrogen peroxide and have your opinions of the Matrix series stay the same as they were. Or you could take the red pill, just one or two maybe, possibly three, in one hour at least. And so it would dull the pain and you can face the truth of what has happened to this series. The choice is yours. Yup, the Matrix Resurrection. Well, I give you the choice. Let's see what you chose. Fucking sucked. There you go, simple. The Matrix Resurrection, it sucked. That's awful. It's... I actually like the Matrix series to a solid point. And, uh... Yeah, this is not the way it should have been. Because, spoil lord... Spoilers. I will be spoiling the film to a certain degree. It, uh, because it's the best way I can explain it. So, like I said, the blue pill, or liquid, or the red pill, or ibuprofen. Weird one, too. Well, unfortunately, I took the red pill, as many did, and I'm one of those who... I didn't like the film. Now, why is that? Well, remember at the last one, I think it was Revo Revolutions or some Matrix Revolutions, the last one, how at the end, Neo and Trinity were dead. They died, but they succeeded in the mission to save humanity and cause peace. Well, probably is it all went to shit. So, for some reason, this machine guy, he was on the spoiler, so I already spoiled that, but I'm going to spoil this movie now. So, the machine guy, some new designer who designs the new Matrix, decides to rebuild Trinity and Neo so that he can put them in the Matrix. He finds out that both of them inside the Matrix, their fear, their stress, is enough to power the Matrix more than many people. It's stupid, I know, right? Anyway, so he has them plugged in, and during this... Uh, Keanu Reeves, or Neo, or Mr. Anderson, is, uh, he, they give him the wall of a game designer, and in that, he makes a trilogy of games called The Matrix Games. Funny enough, one day, this guy's like, hey, uh, so Wonder Brothers wants us to make a fourth game? Yep, we don't have any, they'll do it without us, so we might as well join it. So he's forced to make a fourth one. Funny enough, I wonder why the, why the writers included that. I wonder... Hmm... Yeah, it's pretty obvious. The writers probably included this because they were fucking forced to make a fourth film. And it shows. It's ridiculous. And... Anyway, eventually Morpheus, or young Morpheus, because for some reason Neo made a modal, this weird... Uh, simulated ward a time loop and put it a combination of Morpheus and Smith into one program and made a new younger Morpheus who doesn't act like Morpheus. Fuck you, film. You ruin Morpheus. Anyway, this Morpheus is able to break out with the help of some female girl. I, I don't know what her name is. She's got blue hair, short hair. I don't know. Anyway, so they go to save Neo. He doesn't want any of this shit. They go help him, though. And don't know this, Neo has been taking therapy lessons, and they keep giving him the blue pill. Anyway, Morpheus gives him the red pill. He eventually leaves. And, you know. Now, anyway. So, once Neo gets to the open world, he's dragged out of the pod, because apparently the humans are working with some machines. Some. Only some. So some machines pull him out to bring him to the humans. At Io, or the new Zion. A battle Zion. Battle Zion. Anyway. During that, though, he sees Trinity. So, when he gets back to Io, they gotta go save Tr Trinity. That goes to shit, so he's brought back. Also, during all this, we find out that Smith is here. I don't know how, but Smith is here. Okay? He doesn't look at all how he looks. It's a new actor. 
yeah, new actor for Smith. I know, crappy, sucks. Anyway, Smith, and we find all kinds of old programs like The Frenchman. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Anyway, that happens. Big fight. Bow bow bow. Punch punch. Force push. Anyway, after all kinds of stuff, Neo tries to negotiate with the designer, which. He finds out the designer was actually his therapist trying to keep him in line, but it didn't work. So, this designer has so much power, can stop time, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Neo tries to make an uh, agreement with him. He says, let's have Trinity decide. If she says we should leave, that she wants to leave and go to the real world, then she goes with me. You let her go. However, if she says she wants to stay, I'll come over there and I'll go back in the pod. Now the game design. Now the Matrix designer, the new program AI, the program, is like, how can I trust you? And Neo's like, the same way I can trust you to let you to let me know that you'll let me, and Hol go if she chooses the other world. It's like, what the fuck is happening? Anyway, Trinity comes. He's like, what do you want? And then kid, and then whole kids follow her, and she's like, and at first it looks like she's gonna choose that world. So Neo's just like kneeling down. I'm not even sure what the hell he's gonna do to him. And then she's like. And then her husband in that world, the fake husband, is like, come on, Triff. And she's like, I fucking hate that name. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. And then she says, my name's Trinity. And then uh, Neo and Trinity do stuff, blah, blah, blah. Only the program guy stops time. He's like, I'm going to kill her. And then Mr. S- and then Smith comes out. Turns out he had an, uh, an alliance with Neo during this point. And kicks the program, or program ass. And... That happens. Half of them, Smith's like, yep, well, I walked with you this time. Go, 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 I'm gonna kill you. So then he has a whole city come against Neo. And turns out Neo can't fly. He's like, whoop, oh, I can't fly, shit. So, then, Trinity and Neo go on this cool bike chase, wah, 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 stuff like that. And then they eventually end up at places where it looks like they're gonna die at a towel. And there's these helicopters attacking them, and... There, and so they jump off the building together. Guess which one of them flies? Trinity flies! Okay. And then they fly out of there. And eventually, Neo is able to fly again, too. And then, next we see them. Trinity and Neo go to the program therapist guy, who's like, Yep! Okay, you're one. Yep. And then... And then... Trinity and Neo go off to paint the sky rainbow color, flying off together. It's stupid. It's such a dumb end screen. Man, uh, yeah. Well, there you go. I just said the whole plot. You don't need to watch the film now. Fuck it. It isn't worth it. I got a few reasons why I think the film, uh, disappointment, or in my case, sucked. Number one. Um, well, number one, Morpheus. Morpheus, he was this... Because t- uh, time has been a cruel mistress, or I guess if you want to say father time, he, father time, has been a mean stepdaddy, whipping the original actor who played Morpheus. Very cruel mistress time is, though. Anyway, though, they got a new actor for Morpheus, and he also doesn't act like Morpheus. Not only is he a new actor... But like I said, he doesn't act like Morpheus. He just doesn't act like him. Number two, cringy lines. Some of these lines are just ridiculous. Like in this prison cell and like Morpheus and Morpheus is just talking to him when Neo's like looking at it. He's like, it is a nice view though. And then he's like, well, they're here to save you. And then the, the ship comes up to save Neo. And it's just some cringy, awful lines. And then the guy in the chair, the, uh, I can't remember what they're called. The the guy at the computer, the chill guy, we'll call him that, is saying some stuff. He's like, he's got this mojo back on. I thought that part was dumb. Number three. Uh, so. Ow. Number three. This film didn't need to be made. It didn't. In reality, it seems I was made just to make more money. In reality, we could have left off with the... Matrix Revolutions, which made way more sense. Seriously. That film also left off a good note. 
Humanity's at peace, and Neo and Trinity, sure, they made the ultimate sacrifice, but it was worth it. Instead, nope, that ending's destroyed now. And I guess it's the ultimate fuck you to the trilogy for number three. And number four... It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Like, this whole, why did the machines rebuild them? I know they give us an explanation, being like, we could use them for the pods to power us and give us more energy. Like how we were already using humans as batteries. It's like, yeah, but that's a stupid idea. Because Neo's the one, and he eventually broke out, and Trinity is definitely gonna break out too. So it was a stupid idea in general. So it doesn't make sense why they do that. Also, it's confusing as hell. I At the beginning, it's so confusing. So we see a loop at the beginning. Okay, at the very beginning of the film, we see a loop. Like, we see that moment when they're just like, uh, your men are already dead, officer, when they sent up those men to fight off Trinity. However, it doesn't really work well because stuff is weird. These two younger people are watching it for some reason, and then they find out Morpheus is stuck in there, and then Morpheus and that girl get stuck in this room, they're pointing guns because Morpheus thinks he's an agent, and he's like, but why haven't I killed you, and then he points out the gun, they hug, blah, 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 uh, yeah, that was dumb, there you go, that's all the reasons I really need, but if I want to go follow into this, Smith, Number five, Smith. Again, different actor, and it feels weird. It just sucks in reality. The film's tone, the writing, I guess, for number six, it's just bad. Like, it's stupid. These lines are stupid. Neo's always getting in the perfect position, like he's in the prison, and then suddenly the spaceship comes up, like, oh, we're here to save you. Oh, I'm not sure why they didn't take the spaceship from us, but get in, doesn't matter. It's stupid. That's it. I'm fucking taking the hydrogen peroxide. I, I, I should just take the blue pill. Fuck. I wish I didn't watch this because this has ruined an opinion of the Matrix series. I actually liked the ma three Matrix films. Add this to another film that kind of sucked. 1 to 10 rating. This is hard because I can't say I didn't enjoy my experience. It was silly. It was stupid. It was dumb, bad, yes, ridiculous. Would I recommend it? No. It gets way below a 5 out of 10, but I don't know how below. I've seen way worse. It's just so ridiculous that I think I'll give it a 4 out of 10. It's not, like, as bad as something like Cry Macho that was boring, but still pretty bad. Well, I guess this is it. And, uh, that dojo scene was stupid. If you saw the movie, you know what I'm talking about. That dojo scene when Morpheus was just killing Neo. That's reason number seven, I guess. Bye, and, uh, see you next time.